Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be showing you another review, and this is of the Philips Revolution Motorized Portable Speaker Dock for the iPod and iPhone. It's a very, very good iPhone, uh, iPod dock, in my opinion, when using an iPod, not an iPhone, and I'll show you why in a minute. I'll be using two different examples to show you, the iPod Nano 4th uh, generation and the iPhone 4. Alright, so first I'll start with the iPod Nano 4th generation. All right. Um, well, actually, I'll start by showing you what it looks like. All right, so here's the the uh, front side, and um, basically it's just a speaker and two different handles, one on each side, that allows you just to hold it when you're carrying it. And um, on the top, you see backlight, which uh, allows you to like uh, make this ring around blue. D -D DBB, which means dynamic bass booster, you can turn that on and off. Volume up and down standby and on so that's the uh, the front now on the back let's see what we have um, on the back you see just the AC adapter uh, plug-in the remote which comes out and the remotes pretty I'm not a huge fan of the remote it's very it's not really responsive at least mine's not um, so let's see you can rotate it which I'll show you in a minute up uh, up button down okay menu um, Backward, pause and play, and skip, uh, bass, mute, volume up and down, and that's it. And so yeah, that's the entire... Oh, and also on the bottom is the uh, where you can put six AA batteries. Is it six? I'm pretty sure it's six. And uh, alright, so uh, let's keep going. So, okay. Um, I'll first show you what it looks like when using an iPod Nano. Alright, so the iPod Nano 4th generation. It comes with a little uh, attachment that allows you to use it with iPod Nanos. So, um, with the iPod Nano, with using that, it looks really great. It works very well. And um, one thing about it is that when it rotates, it's like that. It doesn't fall off. All right, so it pretty much stays in place, which really works really well. Um, so that that looks good. But then when using an iPhone, uh, let me just get this off. And let me just get off the attachment so I can show you. It's, uh, there you go. Here's the attachment. If you look carefully, it says iPod Nano 5th generation, but it also works with 4th. Um, so, and then here is where you just attach it. But when you're using an iPhone, like this one, you can just, when you, when you plug it in, uh, let's see, when you plug it in right there, it, uh, it can actually fall off when you're using the rotation, like watch, see, just falls off, and that's a very big flaw. You can't use an iPhone when using the speaker unless you never want to rotate it, which is a big feature because it's when if you accidentally click it on the mount on the uh, remote, like I'll show you. See, the top of the remote says rotate. You accidentally press that when you're using this, it falls off. No more music. So that's definitely a big flaw. Um, so I'll go now through the features of this product. All right, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a basically it's a digital class D amplifier, which is a, a very average, more generic um, stuff that you're gonna find at better, uh, cheaper prices. You know, this uh, the price range of this can range anywhere from seventy or eighty on Amazon to one hundred and fifty at some, uh, some microphone and some he headphone and some iPod dock websites. So the price definitely can range from uh, a large number. Um, let's see. It takes an incoming analog signal and converts it into a digital representation comprised of pulse widths. And that is what a, uh, a Class D amplifier means. And I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the iPod Touch. I mean, iPod Nano and the iPhone. All right, well, let's see. Um, yeah, it's a motorized, motorized dock that rotates when watching movies and videos. It's for watching movies and videos. But as I showed you, if you're doing this with the iPhone, it'll just fall off. Uh, let's see. It's a wireless remote, controls all the basic functions as I showed you. Um, it's an advanced speaker technology for rich, static-free sound, which comes on these two sides. And I don't, think, I don't think on the top. And it runs on batteries or AC adapter, which is included, as I already showed you. I was just running through the features. And uh, I think that is it. If you guys have any questions about how well this works, just leave me a comment and I'll, pre I'll respond. I respond to almost all of them. And so, yeah, that's my review on the 
Philips Revolution Motorized Portable Speaker Dock for the iPhone or the iPod Touch or iPod. If you guys could subscribe, that'd help me out. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Bye.